God did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness, in your compassion blot out my offence. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offences, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. For my sins turn away from your face, and blot out all my guilt. <coughs> a pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervour sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humble, contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness, show favour to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocausts offered on your altar. Glory to God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. God did not spare his own Son, but gave him up for us all. Jesus Christ showed his love for us and freed us from our sins with his life's blood. Lord, I have heard of your fame. I stand in awe at your deeds. Do them again in our days. In our days, make them known. In spite of your anger, have compassion. God comes forth from Teman. The Holy One comes from Mount Paran. His splendour covers the sky, and his glory fills the earth. His brilliance like the light. Rays flash from his hands. There his power is hidden. You march out to save your people, to save the one you have anointed. You made a path for your horses in the sea, in the raging of the mighty waters. This I heard, and I tremble with terror. My lips quiver at the sound. Weakness invades my bones. My steps fail beneath me. Yet I calmly wait for the doom that will fall upon the people who assail us. For even though the fig does not blossom, nor fruit grow on the vine. Even though the olive crop fail, the harvest is not produced in the fields. Even though flocks vanish from the folds and the stalls stand empty of cattle, yet will I rejoice in the Lord and exult in God my Saviour. The Lord my God is my strength. He makes me leap like the deer. He guides me to the high places. Glory to God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Jesus Christ showed his love for us and freed us from our sins with his life's blood.
we venerate your cross, Lord, we praise and glorify your holy resurrection because of the tree joy has come into the whole world. O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem, sigh and praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoarfrosts like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it melts them. With the breath of his mouth the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory to God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. We venerate your cross, Lord. We praise and glorify your holy resurrection because of the tree joy has come into the whole world. reading from the prophet Isaiah. See, my servant will prosper. He shall be lifted up, exalted, rise to great heights. As the crowds were appalled on seeing him, so disfigured did he look that he seemed no longer human. So will the crowds be astonished at him, and kings stand speechless before him for they shall see something never told and witness something never heard before. Christ humbled himself for us and in obedience accepted death, even death on a cross. Over his head was placed the charge against him. This is Jesus, the Nazarene, the King of the Jews. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant. As he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old, a saviour who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and saved from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God, the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord, to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people their salvation, through forgiveness of all their sins. The loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness those who dwell in the shadow of death and guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Over his head was placed the charge against him. This is Jesus, the Nazarene, the King of the Jews. Let us pray to our Redeemer who suffered for us, who was buried and rose from the dead. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord and Master, for us you became obedient, even 
today. Keep us faithful to God's will in the times of darkness in our lives. Lord, have mercy on us. Jesus, our life, by dying on the cross, you destroyed hell and death. Grant that we may die with you and rise with you in glory. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ our King, you were the scorn of the people, a worm, not a man. Teach us to tread your path of humility. Lord, have mercy on us. Jesus our Saviour, you lay down your life for your friends. Let us love one another as you have loved us. Lord, have mercy on us. Jesus, our hope, you stretched out your hands on the cross to embrace all ages of humanity. Gather all God's scattered children into the kingdom of salvation. Lord, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Be mindful, Lord, of this your family, for whose sake our Lord Jesus Christ, when betrayed, did not hesitate to yield himself into his enemy's hands and undergo the agony of the cross. He who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen.